Hey everybody, DeLongshot Signatures here. Gonna do my in-person recap for this Thursday. Went to two different events today and I think it came out to a total of 44 autographs. Uh, we're gonna start off with two autographs from the first event. Uh, went to day two of the US Nationals uh, for drag racing. Was not expecting to get much of anything, if anything at all. So very happy to even get these autographs. Um, a lot of the top tier teams were just getting their trailers in, getting their pit set up. A lot of the drivers not even at the track today. So I think I only saw one or two in total even walking around and most of them were leaving to go to other events. Uh, but did get to meet a former driver, an NHRA legend. I purchased one of these autographs and then uh, he was uh, cool enough to sign a photo for me as well. But I purchased a signed uh, gearhead from Daryl Gwynn, who also signed this 4x6 custom photo that I had made. Um, I might have told his story here on the channel before. I don't remember if I did. Maybe it was, uh, you know, in the past um, on one of my older channels. But uh, Daryl Gwynn was a fantastic driver in the late 80s, uh, making his way up into the top fuel ranks. And once he got there, he didn't look back. He was in the top five for uh, championship points every year, was competing along all the uh, legends like Muldowney and Garlitz and Amato, um, just to name a few. I mean, there was a, it was a really stacked class at that time. Um, so he hadn't won a championship, but he was winning races. He was uh, finishing well, had one of the best cars out there. So it was looking like he was going to be, you know, one of the future legends of the sport. Um, and then unfortunately, in an exhibition race in 1990, his car split in half and he swerved right into a retaining wall at about 240 miles per hour. Uh, he was left paralyzed from the waist down and lost his left arm in the crash. Uh, he was fortunate enough to even survive the wreck, um, but it changed his life forever. So he moved on to becoming an owner and won uh, more races that way. I, I don't remember if he won any championships as an owner, but he was very, very successful in that role. Um, but of course, you know, he's, uh, he's wheelchair bound and missing an arm, but he still has use of his right arm. Uh, so he spends a lot of time autographing items and selling them. Um, and, and I know in the past he's done it for charity, but uh, now they're stating that um, proceeds are going directly towards his medical costs that aren't covered by insurance, which is just really, really sad that, uh, you know, he's, he's, you know, struggling with that financially for something that, you know, ultimately he could have taken his life and didn't, and he's having to struggle with that all, uh, you know, 30 plus years later. So I was more than happy to uh, buy something to try and help him out. And uh, he was there in person, so um, he didn't sign it like directly in front of me. He was kind of behind the little setup that they had, but I asked one of the people that was running the booth if uh, they could have him sign a photo for me, and they were more than happy to do that. So really, really glad to add that legend. Um, I've gotten him through the mail before. He does sign through the mail. He and his father, who was also an NHRA legend, uh, signed through the mail. But if you ever see one of his booths in person, it's worth buying something to uh, help him out. Uh, apologies for the delay on that. Uh, I also went to a second event today that was much more fruitful. I uh, was looking forward to it, so I left the track earlier than I normally would have. But uh, went to a local race shop open house, which uh, a lot of teams don't seem to do anymore, which kind of stinks. Was thinking originally at first this might just be the uh, driver that races there, maybe a teammate if he had one, or his brother who's a former driver. Um, but once I started seeing all the stuff on Facebook that he was uh, going to be having there, it very much made it worth it. Um, not everyone who was scheduled to be there ended up showing up, so I did miss out on a couple of uh, pretty decent autographs to add. But I did get a lot of really, really uh, awesome signatures and new names to the collection that I hadn't had before. 
So these are almost all in alphabetical order. They might have gotten mixed up, but we'll start off here with two signed photos of Top Fuel driver Buddy Hull. He really liked the uh, custom that I made. I also got his hero card for this year. Got two from third generation pro stock driver uh, Camry Caruso. Signed both of those in gold. Very nice signature. Got local MMA fighter Chris Ariola. There were three uh, local MMA fighters. Um, I don't know. I think they're all amateur, but uh, I think one or two of them are champions. Got driver Chad Green. I actually brought um, my own hero card of his, and it just so happened to be the same uh, that he had uh, this year. So looks like he didn't update it. So I just had him sign the one that he provided. Got two signed photos of top alcohol dragster driver Corey uh, Michalik. Michalik? Not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, this was his hero card slash ticket. And then he also, it's a little hard to see, but he signed this 8x10 that I had printed off. Uh, he said that was a really good day for him. Ended up winning that race. Got two from uh, team owner, driver, Cruz Pedragon. His black Sharpie didn't show up that great on this one, but he did sign my custom photo as well in silver. He was a big fan of that. Got, guessing, dirt racer Cruz Stanfill. He is 10 years old. I think he turns 11 later this year. Got two from Top Fuel driver Dan Mercier, based out of Canada. This is one from, I think his name is Dan Talden, signed as Mayhem. He's uh, one of those funky car drivers. That's not what they're officially called. There's all kinds of stuff uh, that they let these people drive. <laughs> Basically, if you can... Uh, if it's four wheels and you can slap a uh, fast engine in it, you can drive it on the track. So that was pretty fun. Got uh, Chad Green's son, Hunter Green. He arrived just as I got to his spot at the table. Uh, another local MMA fighter, Jake Hawkenbury. Got two from Top Fuel driver, Josh Hart. Uh, this guy was not announced to be there, otherwise I would have brought my custom photo of him. But got this year's hero card of Justin Ashley, who, as you can see there, was the 2020 Rookie of the Year. Uh, I think he got a win or two last season, so he's already uh, getting his name out there as a pretty good driver. I think this is the last MMA fighter. Kyle Powell. Signed there and looks like gold. Ended up getting three signatures from Lex June. He signed this for me when he arrived, um, kind of a dying silver. This is his updated hero card for this year. And then he had a much better silver Sharpie uh, at the table when he signed. Then I got two from Top Fuel Harley driver, uh, Michael Balk. I also brought this 8x10, and he recalled that uh, this picture was taken when his crew chief was in his ear telling him to do a bigger burnout, and uh, so he gave it his all. Really nice looking photo there. Uh, really glad with how that one turned out. He, he sat there and was talking with another driver about that for about a minute uh, before he even signed it. He just loved the photo. Then uh, got another, I think, dirt driver, Ryan Thomas. Known as Flying Ryan. There's another uh, motorcycle driver in NHRA that goes by that uh, moniker as well. Got Scott Farley. I don't remember if he's a top fuel or top fuel or top alcohol dragster driver. Got Scott Palmer. He's one of the few guys that's in the top fuel category that I didn't make a. Uh, custom photo for. I might tomorrow after I get back from the track and try and get them one more time. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the energy to do that, but I might. Uh, Tom 
Ricky or Richie, not sure which one it is. And then uh, this is not signed by the guy who was on the cover, but he works for the magazine, uh, Wes Buck of Drag Illustrated. And then I got three autographs of new Top Fuel driver uh, Will Smith. Used to drive in Top Alcohol Dragster for some time. Been grabbing his hero cards for the past few years. So I brought two of those to get signed. And he was like, man, you've been uh, getting these for a while, haven't you? I'm like, yeah, and I've never met you before. So really glad to add those. And the last one is a poster signed by Cruz Pedragon and his entire uh, crew that works with him. So I think it's 10 signatures in total. There's one that's really hard to see. Uh, a lot of these guys not not used to signing autographs. So some of them were taking their time and not really knowing where to sign or how to keep it going. But um, I was up towards the front of the line, so they were getting their practice in. But a really cool looking poster here. Can't show it all at once, but try and give you guys an idea of what that looks like. I don't normally do posters just because it takes up a bunch of space and I don't hang up stuff on my walls. I don't plan on living here forever. Um, but at some point, whenever I do find a home of my own, uh, all that stuff will look nice when it's put up. But wasn't expecting very much today um, as far as the track, so I was happy to at least get something with Daryl Gwynn. Uh, spent more time just watching racing, grabbing some unsigned hero cards for future TTM requests or if, uh, you know, they do in-person signings and stuff like that in the future. And uh, purchasing some stuff. Bought a couple hats, bought some food. A lot of money spent not doing that the other days. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.